There was Academy Award winning people out there that are barely working. They won it, but they send out emails and nobody answers them now. That's crazy. And see, this is what I want to have you guys all avoid. What happens to people in their careers is they don't think about it. They just take the work as it comes in and they might be working with, they might be fine, you know, they might be working with the same people for years and years. They're working for a production company that keeps hiring them, they're making decent money on their downtime, they're like out there having fun, you know, living a good life, right? But then that production company closes and the people they're working with are all of a sudden trying to find jobs themselves. They got used to making the 650 for 10 or a thousand bucks a day, but now that work's dried up and they haven't developed themselves beyond the film industry. People that stay in their one job, their one production company, now it's been 10 years, they're used to making 650, and then all of a sudden the director retires or they start shooting over in South Africa. You know, something happens where all of a sudden that work dries up and you're used to and your whole life is built around that 650 a day making 100 grand a year maybe it's not what you really wanted to do maybe you were doing sports or whatever this person was doing and they really want to get into features now you're too high in a job that it's dried up or whatever and you did not build your connections with a lot of people from the ground up in the sector that you want to be in so now I'm in commercials, you guys, you know, I'm in commercials. When I was in, did National Geographic stuff and Discovery Channel stuff, I had a very wide net. And that was very good for me because if it dried up here, it would come somewhere else. If I screwed up on one job here, I have other people. So I'm going to tell you from the very beginning, one of the most important things is to have, learn how to make all these connections with all these people. Never burn a bridge either because you never know. This person here that was kind of an asshole, that was because he was going through a divorce and was really maybe on drugs at the time. Oh, I've lived this one too. That person that was an asshole that you're like, fuck you, don't want to do that. Never burn a bridge. Because they'll pop up after rehab and be like, oh my God, I'm a runner now. Now I raise money for charities. But you were not nice to me when I was in my bad area. So now you're done. You know, I don't want to work with you. So that's why you never want to build a bridge. People go through stuff all the time. Anyway, you need to have lots of connections, a great foundation, and know what sector that you want to be in to start building connections in that sector from the beginning when you're making 200 bucks a day. Okay, because once you're making 650 a day, now your options are limited. You don't want to go back and make the 200 bucks a day and start all over. So this is why you want to start this right now, right in the, from the very beginning right with a lot of people knowing you positive making connections knowing more than everybody else doing better than everybody else getting pulled in these jobs from the very beginning with all these people talking about you liking you knowing you referring you this is not difficult it's just an awareness thing that you're doing it's an approach thing the way you're doing it